I think next year they're going to play two matches in order to get to a qualifying match for the year after. And if they win that, then they're back in the main group. There's a hell of a lot of work to do um, just to get in the main group, um, let alone be in contention, you know, for, for the Davis Cup. And a lot of work. And this is could be a blessing. Um, I know it happened to us earlier. Um, my very, like you said, t the Davis Cup is... is Incredibly special, I'm sure, to every tennis player, but especially being Australian and, and the history of, of Davis Cup in Australia was so successful for so many years and incredible champions coming out of Australia and were truly, I think, spoiled. We kind of took it for granted um, and we didn't realise how lucky we were um, with all those champions, past champions in the history. And, um, you know, we, we had a great team for, for a few years there with, um, you know, um, myself, Pat, Hewitt, Leighton Hewitt, Pat Rafter, Woodford and Woodbridge. Uh, and then Wayne Arthurs, you know, um, he had played some great matches for us too. So, you know, we had a great team there and we took advantage of that by, you know, winning two Davis Cups. But now, you know, you still got Hewitt um, as passionate as ever, but, you know, he's, the game's stronger, a little stronger now, you know, because, um, you know, the kind of game he plays just takes a lot out of you um, and it's taken his toll um, and he's an absolute champion, he's got a huge heart but he's also, you know, a human and it's, it's taken his toll on him uh, no matter how, much, how big his heart is, um, sometimes the body's just not going to respond so um, he definitely has matches in him where he can play some great matches and, and when beat anyone in the world but to have that consistently, to get him back in the next couple of years is going to be very tough so Tomic is going to have to step up. He's the only one that I know of that we've got up there actually for Australia who, who can do some damage and who's got the talent to, you know, get in the top 20. I mean, the guy should be in the top 20, you know, and, 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 and pushing the door for that top 10. Um, but I don't even know his ranking. What's his ranking now? I think he's about 40, 50. 40, 50, yeah. Um, He's very, very talented and he, need, he has the opportunity right now um, to kind of, you know, he needs to work on certain parts of his game, that's a given, but um, this is the time for him to do it because when you're kind of first coming in on the tour, you, no one knows what to expect and no one really knows how to play you and so he had, you know, he had kind of a little bit of an advantage sometimes and also there's nothing to lose and it's great playing when there's nothing to lose. But now that people are getting to know him, they know he's dangerous. Um, you got to take your turns to a different level um, and be ready for different things because um, you're not going to be an underdog in you know, most of your matches. Um, and he's got to be ready to take it to the next level and he's got to be ready to take you know, the, the, the flag, the Australian flag, um, on his shoulders for a while because I don't see anyone coming up to, to help him. I hope I'm wrong, but from what I know or from what I've heard and, and what I've seen is we don't have anyone behind him. Um, but I'm sure it's going to change. I'm sure Son will will come out from, you know, one of a small town out of Australia and, and, and have, you know, an okay, um, you know, good, decent junior career, okay, but then just turn it on in the uh, in ATP Tour and, and um, that happens a lot and I hope it does. And if anyone's the man to lead Australia out of this slight wilderness period and, and inspire players to, to play their best for their country, probably Pat Ruff. Pat Ruff, definitely, because at that... You would have had a lot of young Australians watching Pat growing up, and and, and we knew of John and and um, John Newcomb and Tony Roach. Um, but you know, kids growing up, unless you know they get back in history, they're not going to know him as as well as we do, um, and have the same respect for him. Even though they'll, I'm sure they'll have respect for him, it's just not the same respect for him as we had. So, so it makes a big difference when you have someone on the side of the court that you've seen as a kid. Um, play Grand Slams and, and, and play Davis Cups and win matches and, and it's very important. So, you know, years to come, um, Pat's going to be there for a while and, and, and the, I, don't, I don't know what Leighton has in store for himself, where his passion is, where his heart is, but I, um, I think you could see Leighton, maybe them as a team, helping, um, you know, uh, the, the future Davis Cup team um, to get to that main group and in contention again and I hope it happens for him. Australia have drawn in their, uh, their their qualifying match, Taiwan. I don't expect you to have a huge amount of knowledge about the Taiwanese Davis Cup team, but perhaps you can offer a little insight of, about what it's like to, to go into a tie 
with so much expectation of, of you winning and, and, and the pressure of that? Yeah, Davis Cup is, is so, it's a, it's a privilege, it's this, it's, but there's so much pressure on you. Uh, I don't think people understand how much pressure there is. You know, for us, when we play an ATP tournament, if we lose, yeah, we're disappointed, but half an hour later, we're like, all right, let's get a plane, go to the next city, and we play another tournament. And we've got, there's like two, three tournaments a week on the calendar in ATP tour all year round. So sometimes you don't mind losing because you can actually just switch off and have a break. Um, and for Davis Cup, you know, you're playing for your, your teammates, your country, your, your captain, your coach. Um, and it's not like if you lose, you can have another Davis Cup match, you know, next week. It's, this is, it's all or nothing out there. And, and um, sometimes it's easier, as much as it's great playing at home and having that, that home court advantage and having, you know, the crowd on your side. And it definitely lifts you, it definitely pushes you through. And sometimes you like playing away because it's not so intense, you know, media wise. You know, like I said, Davis Cup's, like you said, Davis Cup's huge in Australia. So media, it's all about the whole week. It's everything's Davis Cup. So when you go to another country, you don't feel that. I, I'm sure it's incredibly important, and it is, but because it's not in your country, the newspaper, you don't think about reading that or you don't hear people talk about that. You're just there to focus, and you know it's going to be tough because you're playing on foreign soil and the crowd's going to be against you, and you need to dig deep, deeper. Um, so... Uh, but when you do win those Davis Cup matches, there's no better feeling in the world. So it, it, it's all worth it.